Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, if you guys are new, and thank you so much for being here. So today, I'm just going to take you guys along with what we're doing. So today I'm gonna take Pace into a appointment. He hasn't had like a normal doctor checkup in a while. Yesterday, I took him in for his ears because I thought he had inner ear problems, but I realized it's just like little bumps on the outside of his ears. And I don't know if it's an allergy to a product or what's going on, but I needed to take him in just to see. They did like a throat swab to see if he has some kind of strep and he was totally healthy, everything was fine, but he just still, like every single night he was itching his ears and it was keeping him up at night, so I just took him in just to see, but nothing was wrong, of course. I feel like every time I take him to the pediatrician, nothing is ever wrong and I get charged a bill. It's like so stupid, but I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. But we're gonna be going to the doctor again today, that same doctor, which I'm not really a fan of this pediatrician, but I'm gonna be taking him there again so he can get his like overall wellness checkup. I don't know exactly what that entails. Like I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing, like they're gonna be asking me questions about him. If you guys know what I mean, like it's the test to see if they're autistic or stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure that's the one happening today. I am not totally positive. That's the appointment I made specifically uh, for him because I wanted to get his wellness checkup. So that's what we're doing today. My sister and her husband are on their way right now. They're actually going to St. George. So it's about a five hour drive. I I think it's like five or six hour drive that they have to drive today. And then they're gonna be spending, I think this whole day golfing, and then they're gonna leave for Utah tomorrow. So they're gonna be coming to Utah to visit us and then just explore and have fun. They're going on vacation. So it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited to see them. Today, it's kind of gloomy outside, it's a little rainy. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on with my health. And I think I might try to do that a little bit later, like when I have a sit down in the car or when Payson's <laughs> asleep. It is crazy what I have found out. There's some different things going on and I just feel like I should share in case someone out there that you guys know or yourself has this and maybe I can help you in some small way. It's not completely resolved. <laughs> like I feel like I have a long road ahead of me. We just ate breakfast and I got dressed, I got my son dressed and now we're gonna head to the appointment around 10 because it's at 10 15 and then I have a I have a call at 11 with my naturopath so I decided to be seen by a naturopathic doctor and basically it's just a little consultation for like a 10 minute call I'm gonna be probably in the car or barely leaving his appointment when I had that call and I'm just gonna ask her if she treats the thing that I have and so yeah but I will definitely talk about it soon I know if you guys some of you if you have clicked on this video you'll probably be like where where's the information like I have this I need it so I'll definitely explain it to you like as soon as I can when I'm probably in my car when I get back home <laughs> I meant to share this with you guys in my last video but for some reason the footage just disappeared um, I guess maybe or I didn't press record Payson's been a little bit more noisy these days he loves to talk, so just preparing you for that. Ah. But I got this off yeah. Facebook Market for $30. Like, such a good deal. I know it's not the greatest. Oh. Like, it's pretty broke. Ah. Like, there's, like this is kind of wonky. And this had a drawer to it. And I think it was, like, the, the top of the freezer box or whatever. But it's still kind of cute. Like, it opens up here. And he has this little thing. Dad's going to get this fixed where it'll stick on. Like, I was like, 30 bucks, that's good. Yeah. Like, we can fix it up and make it look cute for that much. And then I bought these extra little things for him. So they're like fruit. They're little, um, I can link these for you guys down below if you want. They weren't that expensive, actually. A little banana. <laughs> look at the little hot dog. So cute. Are you reading your book? Can you count? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job. I'm actually going to go to Kohl's today because I got to do an Amazon drop off. I love that you can just do that. And I have a Kohl's like literally 30 seconds from my house. It's down the street. Um, But I got these and I really love these. They're so cute. They're like a gray and white color. Um, but <laughs> I didn't realize they were so expensive. It was a try before you buy and they're about $65, I think, but 
I really do love them. But I kind of want shoes that I can like work out in as well. These are just more like walking shoes. I don't want to return them. I don't. But I just can't really afford them right now. So I'm going to return these today at Kohl's. It's starting to sprinkle outside. But we just left. Well, <laughs> we're in the Kohl's parking lot. We're about to leave. I just bought a new shirt. You can't see it. But I'll probably end up wearing it for the 4th of July because it says USA, USA, I don't know. It was like seven bucks, so it was like, I just need like mom shirts, you know? Like day-to-day -day life mom shirts. But we're gonna be going to, I'm just really craving Starbucks right now. Like I want caffeine actually, cause I haven't had it in a few days. So I want, like I did have a green tea the other day from Starbucks, but I want a regular like latte. I'm going to explain to you guys in a little bit that I shouldn't be having caffeine. Or not just caffeine, but I shouldn't be having coffee because of my stomach stuff. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do it today and then maybe take a break from it like tomorrow and the next day, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but I definitely want it right now. I am feeling very tired. Thank you so much for choosing our Starbucks. Give me one moment, I'll be right back with you. Okay. Can I please have a cotton Americano tall, half caffeinated, and then some of that steamed sweet cream, if you can do that? Okay, anything else? Do you guys have any of those perfect bars with the chocolate chips? I'll have everything ready for you at the window. Thank you. So I felt like I should try something new today and just get like a warm, I feel like a warm latte, but lattes are like, like $3 more or $2 more or something like that. So I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna get an Americano. And hopefully with the sweet cream, it'll taste really good. And if it is, then I, I will have found my new hot drink. Okay, truth, I actually really like this Americano. Like if you guys wanna save some money and you don't want your whole drink to be six bucks for a tall, I would definitely recommend getting a Americano. Americano is basically just espresso shots with water. And then I added sweet cream and I steamed it. So you could do the same thing and it could be like a little latte. Hi, baby. We got a view here today. It's nice. <laughs> Keeping him distracted. This is the shirt I got at Kohl's and it was like $7 Ow. and yeah, so I got my discount there. My son decided to join us right now. He's sitting next to me on the ground and he's just playing with his puzzle pieces and toys. So if you hear a little man, that's that's what it is. I, I'm gonna jump right into what I have and what um, the doctor basically diagnosed me having and it sounds like I have something really gnarly, which it kind of is, but it's nothing that hopefully can never be cured. <laughs> Um, okay, so you guys know in the past I had to switch up my diet. I had to stop drinking coffee. There were so many different things that I had to change because I thought my heart was involved. Like my heart was involved and I was feeling a lot of different things with my heart. But turns out it was due to a stomach bacteria that is pretty aggressive called H. pylori. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard about that, but apparently half the world has it. It's just, it's sometimes it's kind of dormant or it's just not enough symptoms to like show that it's there. But when it gets to be aggressive, it can be pretty bad and pretty brutal. And think of like heartburn, but like on steroids. So when you have like a lot of heartburn coming up and you have like almost to the point where you're throwing up in your mouth sometimes after you eat, your gut health is like one of the most important things. If that's, if that is off, so many other aspects of your body are just thrown off. And the problem with H. pylori is that if it gets to be in an aggressive state, it can create ulcers and eventually lead to stomach cancer. So here I am thinking that I am just eating so great and so healthy and all this stuff and I, I don't honestly think it matters really. I mean, I haven't, okay, so I'm just gonna explain to you guys. I don't know enough about H. pylori yet to be like, hey, this is what you need to do to cure your, your problem. However, I am going to see a naturopath and it's gonna be all, all over the phone. So it's gonna be like through an app and we're gonna be talking to each other, but I don't go in the office. With that said, I'm going to be learning all about my issues. So I'm taking a stool sample. 
Um, I don't know if I'm doing blood tests yet. I think I will just because I've already had so much blood drawn already <laughs> with trying to get my hormones figured out. And that's a whole other video I want to do. I want to talk about hormones and um, ovulating and just all those things. So that's going to be a more of a, a lady topic for later. But I want to talk to you guys now uh, just to specifically about the H. pylori stuff and how it's been affecting me and what I plan to obviously do about it. So I feel like I've had this H. pylori thing for so long. I don't know how long, but I know that I used to walk around with just like my hand on my stomach for so many, so many years. And I've always had like slight bloating issues and I think that's what it's been. And I never understood what it was, but it's never been more aggressive than it has been now. And I can tell because I am constantly belching. The burping is so bad. like. Uh, especially when I eat something that is like not agreeing with my stomach. When my stomach is empty, it hurts. It feels like it's on fire when my stomach is empty. And so I, I feel like I always have to have something in my stomach, which I usually did that always anyways. But now it's like I have to eat very specific to what it is and I don't even know what that is yet. So that's what I'm hoping to find at the, neuro, the naturopath. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel for this journey, if you've clicked on this, because I'm going to be talking a lot more about it once I know more about what it is and what kind of foods that I need to be eating. Now, the only difference is, is that I will be sharing my information, but I highly recommend because I watched a bunch of videos on this too. Everything is very specific to each person and I don't recommend you following my plan for what, I, what I'm going to be doing as far as like how to cure or heal myself. This is more just an educational video to show you guys like what people are putting out there. Like as far as the naturopath doctor, I'm really hoping and praying that she puts me on a an eating plan because I need to know specifically what to eat, what not to eat. Uh, and I already know they're gonna tell me to stop drinking coffee, uh, certain things that I love, <laughs> and I'm gonna be so sad. They'll probably put me on a gluten-free diet or like a low-carb um, diet, which that didn't really work out for me. If you guys saw like when I went paleo, uh, low-carb for me is not is not good for my hormones, so what I'm gonna do is tell her that and I'll be like, hey, like I need to adjust where I can because I, I gotta keep the carbs in my, in my body. When I went and got blood panels, for my hormones, they told me I'm low in B12 and iron. And the thing about H. pylori is when your body is trying to break down the foods and stuff, like for some reason it eats up extra iron in your body in the B12. So you'll probably have a deficiency in those, which is why my hair is getting like really brittle. And uh, it's also, I feel like it's just, just not healthy right now. I mean, it, it's, it used to be very vibrant and shiny, and now it just seems, I mean, it still has some shine, but it's just very dry, dull, and it's falling out, and there's just a lot of different things. So when I went in to get tested, I'm sorry, my video is kind of all over the place, but when I went to get tested for my heart, they put me on a halter monitor. So basically I had this thing connected to my chest for three days. It didn't have all the hooks and wires. It was just this little device. They have that out there if you guys are looking for something to check your heart rate and all that. But they told me that they think, they they came to the understanding that it is my gut. Like I'm having gut issues and when I eat, it can mess up my heart rate and different things like that. So I, I understand all that now. So now they told me to do a breath test, I did blood test, and I did like this questionnaire thing. And that's when they discovered that I have this H. pylori bacteria. So if you're curious, if you've been having a lot of heartburn and it's just like nothing helps or you just feel something's off in your body, like with your heart or something, I would definitely get it checked out. I know that hospital visits are very expensive. Hopefully you have insurance but it is something that you definitely want to consider looking at because if you don't take care of H. pylori, it can get really worse. Like I said, I don't have information right now on how, what to do about it, how to treat it, much, much of anything like that. I can show you a couple supplements that I started yeah. taking, but the doctor will definitely let me know if it's the right thing or not for myself. I'm just taking it in the meantime and I think it's helping myself because um, it doesn't give me any problems when I do take it. So I'll definitely show you guys that once I'm done chatting with you. <laughs> but I just think that this is something that definitely needs to be addressed. Yeah. Come here, baby. 
<laughs> he hurt his little toe. This is my son Payson. <laughs> He's getting so big. It's crazy. I'm going to go into talking about infertility in my next video. Um, I'm not there yet in infertility, at least not that I know of, but there's so many things that I want to share with you guys and so much stuff that I've learned in the last two months that I feel like women need to know about, girls need to know about. So I'm definitely going to be talking about all that in my next video, probably going to be filming it very soon, but I am happy to report that I don't have AFib or anything like that. I mean, there was just a while there where I was just really afraid that I had a problem with my heart and it's not that. So it's definitely, I mean, who knows, I could turn into that one day, but for now it's not that. <laughs> and knowing that it's just my stomach is, is definitely helping me feel better. And I just think that over time, hopefully with all the treatment that I'm going to be getting, that's the thing about H. pylori is like you never know if it's going to fully go away. It could take a very long time. She said that this treatment or the visits should be about a month. So I'm hoping in the next month that it will get treated and it'll be gone because I'm hoping that I follow very strictly the diet that she gives me or the protocol, you know, with all the supplements and things like that. So that's my hope. And I will definitely give you guys more information once I know and just to educate you honestly and to explain to you what this is. If you guys ever feel like I said earlier, if you have ever feel like you have heartburn or your stomach's just really hurting, you have chronic IBS, if you have diarrhea issues or constipation issues, just go get your gut checked out. Do a stool test. See if you're allergic to anything. It doesn't hurt, right? So that's my recommendation to you. Started out being a vlog and now it's a sit down video. I'll go ahead and show you guys the supplements that I'm taking right now so you can see. Okay, so this is the first one that I'm taking. It's Gastromend. It supports supports microbial balance, mucosal health. Mucosal health? I don't know. Um, this is the ingredients right here. And so this is just one thing that I'm taking right now that I'm guessing my naturopath will end up telling me to take. I have no idea if these are even helping me, but this is my digestive enzymes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I got to take my vitamin D. That has nothing to do with this though. Um, vitamin D I'm taking. B12 <clears throat> is also what I'm taking with my folic acid. This stuff kind of gives me some energy. So sometimes I don't like to take it because it's a little too much for me. This is aloe vera juice, but it, there's no, it's not sweet at all. If anything, it's kind of hard to get down, but you just take this little caps, this little cup and I fill it up to the very top line and I just drink one of these, but it's supposed to help like calm your digestive tract, balance stomach acidity, acidity helps promote healthy digestion and supports optimal immune system function. So that's what I've been doing, this is very expensive. This is like 20 bucks a bottle and it's gone in, in one week. So it's it's kind of like crazy. So I'm glad that I'm going to the naturopath because I'd rather put money into something that I know is absolutely going to work instead of this, <laughs> which it could be helping. I mean, I think it does, but I'm just doing it now to kind of help, you know, for now because I don't really know what what I'm doing until I go figure it out. So that concludes today's video. I hope that you guys um, found some little bit of information out of this video, if anything. If nothing at all, just follow me on my journey because I'm definitely gonna be giving more advice to you guys. And I just, I'm doing this because it's my own personal life and it's my own story. And I wanna look back on this and be like, oh yeah, like that's what happened, you know? And I also wanna help people. That's truly what I wanna do. So the next video that I make, I told you, will be very soon and it's all about hormones and things like that. So definitely subscribe if this is you and you feel like this content is relatable or just subscribe if you know me and you care. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.